Oh man, Bowler's Gate 3 Deluxe Edition, people, is coming through this week. And I want to kind of go through all the really epic details of it because I am so damn excited. Let's kind of have a bit of a read over here so we can appreciate the awesomeness of Baldur's Gate 3. So as you guys know, there is a standard edition of Baldur's Gate 3, which will cost 60 USD, which is around the $100 mark. So on PC and also $70 on the PlayStation 5. So the latter of which is becoming more common with AAA games. As you guys know, you know, AAA games these days have sort of increased their price to 70 USD. So comparatively, the deluxe edition costs 80 USD people. That'll be around that 120 Australian dollar mark, which would include several pieces of loot. Let's kind of go through what this will include, people. Scrolling all the, all the way down over here, we can see the Baldur's Gate 3 Digital Deluxe Edition contents. This includes the following pieces of loot. We can see over here, people, this includes the full game itself. Thank God for that. So all Digital Deluxe Editions content is included for free when purchasing Baldur's Gate 3 during the early access period. So anybody that has the early access like myself, we get automatically upgraded to this really awesome Deluxe Edition. We got ourselves the Divinity Pack, which includes a digital soundtrack. I wish, man, the soundtrack was physical, but it's digital. Also a digital character sheet, as you guys can see there. Adventurous Pouch and the Bard Song Pack, which looks pretty sick, and paintings from the Revelion. Regarding Divinity Original Sin, people, I absolutely love the artistry. Larian Studios always, always, always make epic artwork. The Deluxe Dice Skin, which is really nice there, and the Digital Art Book. I cannot wait to show you guys how nice this art book looks like. Woo! I am super keen for this game. But yeah, moving down over here, we can see PlayStation 5 users can choose to purchase any of the following editions through the PS Store. You can see exactly what's included with the Deluxe Edition below. So as mentioned before, people, you get yourself 72 hours early access to Act 1. As y'all know, this game releases on the 3rd of August, but I'll show you guys something a little interesting at the bottom. So of course, as mentioned before, the Divinity Bard Song Pack, exclusive dice roll, treasures from Rebellion, which include the Mask of the Shapeshifter, Cape of the Red Prince, Red Prince, my man, Red Prince from Divinity Original Sin, I loved him, Loot of the Merryweather Bard, Needle of the Outlaw Rogue, and the Bicon of Sea Beast, and the Adventurous Pouch, which is extra camp supplies and potions, digital OST, digital art book, and digital character sheets as well. We could see the really awesome mark mask of, of the safe ship. So if you guys have not played Divinity Original Sin, you guys won't know what this is. This is basically Fane, different faces and different kinds of abilities that he's able to do, which to be honest, I'm absolutely loving. But yeah, moving all the way down over here, we could see there's one interesting part here, guys. As mentioned before, there's 72 hours early access, but PC players who purchase the digital deluxe edition won't be able to access Baldur's Gate 3 three days in advance. So as mentioned before, this is releasing on the 3rd of August, but we won't be able to play it, say, on the 31st of July, only on the 3rd of August. Instead, you'll have to pop in on the 3rd of August. So as for PS5 users, those who purchase a digital deluxe edition will be able to play three days early, starting on September 3rd. The full release of PS5 is on September 6th, which is when everyone will, who bought the standard edition can play. So only the three-day early access is available for PS5 users, not PC, which is, to be honest, a bit disappointing. I was hoping that I could jam this game on the 31st of July, but unfortunately not. But yeah, of course, we know there is the collective edition that, of course, your boy will be unboxing. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this Friday. Really doubt it, but probably the week after. And this collective edition, man, is looking so sick. Check out that really awesome statue, the box art, and all this loot, baby. Woo! I am so damn excited. This is probably going to be my most anticipated collective edition for myself. Yeah, I know there is no steel case in this. However, man, Lion Studios are my number one most important studio that I love the most. And I got the Divinity Original Sin 1 and 2 Collector Edition. Very keen to add this to my Larian loot. But let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the really awesome Digital Deluxe Edition? Would you guys be picking that up? Or the Collector Edition? Or just the Standard? We are The Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join our Discord so you guys can be part of our epic loot family. I'll leave a link at the comment below. But yeah, this game is going to be absolutely dope.